Tonight, police are on the hunt for a man who shot two others inside Tompkins Square Park this morning. One man is dead and the other is in the hospital. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram is live now on the Lower East Side with the latest on the investigation and also the search for the suspect. Jennifer? Hi, Dick and Christine. Police have been here all day searching for that man who they say open fired on two people inside of a park, killing one of them. You can see detectives is, are still here at this hour, but as of this hour, still no arrests. Just horrible. Surveillance video shows the moment shots were fired inside of a Manhattan park just after the morning rush Friday. We, we were just walking outside. We went in for an hour and then it happened. Many on their way to work, others taking a stroll in the park with their kids. It's my home, you know, and my daughters. It happened inside of Tompkins Square Park near East 7th Street on Manhattan's Lower East Side. Most of the time I feel like I'm safe, but when I see things like this, I have to second guess it. I guess you always have to be mindful about your surroundings. Police sources say two men, ages 74 and 44, were shot in the back. Sadly, the 74-year-old did not survive. You know, off the top of my head, I can count like three or four shootings in the past few months in this adjacent area. Many scared, but not surprised. It's happened before. I'm kind of not really surprised. According to the NYPD's crime stats, as of Monday, before Friday's double shooting, three people were hit by bullets so far this year in the 9th Police Precinct, and just as many the same time last year. But people who live and work near the park say their safety has been top of mind lately. Yeah, definitely not good for overall quality of life. This keeps reoccurring, and it's also in like the same area in the neighborhood. So, hopefully it just stops and we have some peace here. And we're told that 44-year-old man remains hospitalized. We've also learned that both victims do have prior arrests, and this entire incident may have stem stemmed from a drug deal gone bad. Now, police say that suspect was last seen wearing a mask, white gloves, and a black jacket. If you have any information, you're urged to call police right away. We're live on the Lower East Side. Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. Jennifer, thank you.